Podcast News is the sixth episode of the 32nd season of The Simpsons. This is directed by Matthew Fonan, and I am not surprised that this has 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb. That's currently across 832 reviews and ratings. And the first couple of minutes were a little bit slow, and I was thinking, am I going to enjoy this? Is it going to be good? Is it going to just feel really gimmicky? But actually, it was really compelling in a very well-written narrative. It starts off with Lisa being obsessed with true crime podcasts and then Marge becoming obsessed with true crime podcasts and suddenly everybody loves them and Kent Brockman is questioning what he should be doing with his career now because nobody's paying attention to the news, they're listening to true crime. But then something happens involving Grandpa Simpson that captures the attention of the true crime podcast fans and Kent Brockman having taken on this new story, is able to capitalise on that with a true crime podcast. And I won't say any more than that, but the mystery element is so strong. And as soon as I thought I knew what was happening, it went in a different direction. And then once I got my feet with that, it went off in a different direction again. And it was really, really well done. It is a very gripping story and very, very well done. There are some moments here and there that I found particularly delightful. Lisa mentions ASMR, which is awesome. I still don't think of ASMR as being a thing outside of YouTube. So whenever it's mentioned in a TV show, it just blows my mind. And Yardley Smith also voices the character Yardley Smith because she has a podcast. And that is so weird because she sounds so much like Lisa. I don't actually think I'd heard her talk as herself, I, to my, the best of my recollection. So it was kind of peculiar because it was just like another character with basically Lisa's voice, which was rather, rather fascinating. We also have uh, Morgan Fairchild voicing the character of Vivian St. Charmaine. I won't say too much about that character, but I did think she was very fascinating, a very well-written character, and uh, definitely uh, a, a good centre of the mystery. I thought that worked very well. I don't want to say too much more than that because... I don't want to risk giving away any more than is necessary. But the point there is that it's a brilliant narrative, very well written, very compelling, definitely one that will draw you in, particularly if you're a fan of true crime podcasts. It also raises some really important topics, such as are true crime podcasts potentially dangerous when they kind of not so much glamorize these crimes, but focus on the wrong things or hype up certain aspects because that's what people want to happen when it could be overshadowing the actual reality. There are several other things. It, it never ever says true crime podcasts are bad, they shouldn't exist, but it certainly raises some questions about whether they're always the most moral thing. But at the end of the day, true crime podcasts and shows have been proven that they can help to solve crimes if they are about unsolved crimes, of course. So. Ultimately, if you're a true crime podcast fan or a true crime show fan, I think you'll really understand the excitement a lot of characters feel in this. But even if not, I think you'll enjoy the mystery element. Ultimately, a really good episode. <laughs>